Now, May, I want you to just tell us in a few words, uh, probably an hour's worth, about um, your time growing up in New Zealand. How was it, May? In a stick trying to get an eel. Oh, right. Yeah. So what, what, how old were you? <laughs> when we were small. Alright. Did you get any? Yes. Oh. So what did you do? Did it call them, cook them up? Or? Yeah, we tried cooking them up here. Yeah. Uh, so how big was that school you went to? What, was it a big school? It was only one room. Oh, right, not a big school then. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and one teacher taught all the different classes. But I remember it was quite... So it wasn't a bad place for it to be a kid then. Oh no, no. In those early days we were on the farm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so anyway, you had to help the, your sisters came along. What, what happened then? Heavens, I didn't have any spare time, that's for sure. You would have been chief carer, wouldn't you? I was chief chief cook and bottle washer. Oh. She said a lot of people drinking piss at 12 30 in the afternoon. I feel, like, I feel like I'm the, I'm the old one out. Everyone's having such a good time drinking. So when, when did you, um, what day did you leave home? I was 18 and I saw the ad in the paper. And is that, oh, for the Navy? For the Navy. Ah, oh, right. So what, you filled in an application form, did you? Yes. So where were you based in the Navy? Did you based in one place or where? Auckland. Yeah. Auckland. And where just did where did you have to stay? Where's it? What sort of accommodation? Oh, it was no, it was, uh, it was all built there. Oh, so it was Army barracks. barracks. The Navy, the Navy barracks. Navy barracks. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you meet lots of good people in the Navy. Oh, I've met lots of good people. Had a very active, healthy life too. Mm. It was always doing that. Uh, some sort of sport or doing exercise. Yeah, right. Or out sailing. Then I got off with a job in Wellington. I used to, I remember getting from Stokes Valley, getting the train there, and uh, they would be coming here to work. And that was uh, all that's going ahead a few years. Yeah, so you, you would have. You would have left pretty early in the morning yeah. uh, to, to go to work. How did you arrange to get us all lunch and stuff anyway? How did you get, did you get it all happening in the morning? Uh, gave us some money. Because <laughs> oh. I used to get up about five in the morning. You would have had to get up really early. Yeah, I did. Always did. Have done. I suppose that's why I still wake up so early. No, I still remember lunch and sausage and pickle sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was kind of a staple. Austin Motors yeah. before she got transferred to the head office of New Zealand Motor Corp in Wellington. Right up the end in the bush there, where we lived, the first, our first little nest in the bush. Up this road here, this is where Mum had that big primitive shack with no power, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Definitely. So it's probably pulled down now. But it was quite interesting going up how Hanson Grove and seeing how well it's progressed in every department. It looked like it had regressed, if you could call it that. Yeah, it definitely had. Yeah. Especially, the, especially our old house. Yeah. There goes number 35. That's where we used to live. I heard there's a room your mum's moving back. <laughs> what do you think, Mum? <laughs> no, no, listen, Mum, come on, tell us honestly. Okay. You've, had, you've had some good memories of living here, haven't you? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. You kids all growing up. Yeah, we did have some good memories and here. And there was a few little drinking sessions in that little room there. Oh, yes. And up the top of the street there. And up there.
down to St. John's Church this, this morning at 9.30. I thought it was a Catholic church, but it's you had the foresight to be able to tell me that it wasn't. And it was Anglican. It was both. It was a combination of both. So what did you actually think about the place itself when you went in there? Did it you... was the most beautiful, peaceful, lovely old church I've been in through for many, many years. forward to the crew coming? Yes, definitely looking forward to the crew. Right. All right, welcome. Wait. Welcome, family. <laughs> there they are. They've just wow. arrived. Well, Mum, how does it feel to be 77 anyway? <laughs> does it feel any different than 76? <laughs> <laughs> no. Very little difference. Step from 76 to 77, and I'm still alive. Yeah. My God. Oh. I like May though. May's my favourite. May's your favourite. May's your favourite. <laughs> and Jenny, who's your favourite? May. May. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear May. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Cheers, Mum. No, she wants to stay the same. <laughs> stay the same. Never yeah. get any older. No, yeah. Exactly, yeah. that's what I was trying to say. No but I never expected to reach this age. I honestly didn't because, oh, you know, one thing and another. But I'm just so thankful and so grateful to be here with my Selwyn, my children, my grandson, my son Paul, mm. and Susie and Steve. And yeah. Julie, and Julie, unfortunately, isn't it? No, no, yeah. no. But yeah. I'm just so lucky to be here and to be alive. Blue sky, when I think of all I sadly sigh, I can see you there with loving tears in your eyes. As I stood and waved my last goodbye. <laughs> hey! Oh, hey! Going, Mum. As I sailed away with a longing to stay, I knew that I'd be true and would love only you. Blue smoke goes drifting by into the deep blue sky. My memories. Of home will never die. Oh, God, oh, God. 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 Oh, God.